Let's start with the governor's race, Kathy Hochul uh, against Lee Zeldin. And um, at least according to some of the polls, it's reasonably close. Yeah, about two weeks ago, if you would have told me that, I would have been uh, quite shocked. A lot has changed in the past couple of weeks. And you're seeing these polls. At one point, she held a 20-point lead over Lee Zeldin. Mm -hmm. Now it's down to four or five points, depending on which polls you look at. So it's clearly getting closer, and it's and it's making Democrats in particular very nervous. Well, and tonight we have a debate. And, and when you have that kind of movement in the polls, it, the debate could be important to one side or the other. I think so, particularly because we, even though Kathy Hochul has been governor for the last year, she hasn't come out incredibly strongly among a lot of the issues that uh, people are worried about, and particularly on things like crime and the economy, which Lee Zeldin has been hitting her pretty hard on. Well, I, I wonder about that as a resident of New York, and I see a lot of the ads. Is it clear what her position on crime and the economy are? Because it's not altogether clear to me. I mean, she has been very proactive with bringing kind of largesse throughout the state, as mm -hmm. in like investments big investments, like Micron was a very big one that she's touted for economic development. Those are not pocketbook issues necessarily, like gas and inflation and things like that that people are very worried about. Uh, so let's go over now to the Hudson Valley race in the House, which is particularly interesting because we have the head of the DCCC, uh, who's actually, it looks like there's a challenge to him. Right. And all of a sudden, we saw this week uh, a recharacterization of that race uh, from, from a leaning Democratic to a toss-up. And I think that made a lot of people stand up straight and say, what are you talking about, a toss-up? Uh, you know, the last time this happened uh, was quite a few decades ago. Uh, and the question is, you know, why has it become so competitive? Why has it narrowed so much? And I think the answer here is also that the kind of economic issues that people are facing, that they are tying to the Democratic Party and to someone like uh, Sean Patrick Maloney. Yeah, Sean Patrick Maloney is the Democrat who's the incumbent, who is the chair of the DCCC here. Uh, and, and so that really does make you wonder. That's a little bit of an upstate, uh, mid-state uh, region. It's not Manhattan. But whether Democrats really get it about the economy, me. And I also have to wonder, might there be a broader issue across the country here on this? I think that's what people are counting on or looking into for the first time in a while, that New York is actually somewhat representative of the rest of the country, whereas before a lot of people said, oh, New York, you know, bleeds blue, Democratic, mm -hmm. you know, place. But you leave New York City, you go up to, I was in Long Island over the weekend, Lee Zeldin signs everywhere. You know, you go up to Hudson Valley, uh, Rockland County, those are, you know, almost very different places than, than New York City. And what about crime? Certainly a big issue on a lot of people's minds here in New York City. Is it clear what Kathy Hochul's position, or for that matter, uh, the congressman's position are on crime? Because Lee Zeldin's been very aggressive on this. Yeah, I think you've been seeing them talk about crime and actually take some actions around it, especially particularly around guns. But the thing is that the crime rates haven't actually come down all that much. And so the record that she's had um, in with with uh, Hochul, for example, over the last year hasn't shown much progress. Uh, the issue around Maloney saying, well, you know what, this is, this is not really a, a national issue that I can fight for. It's more of a local issue. And so you kind of have people worried about a feeling and a perception as well as an increase in crime rates since, you know, a generation ago. And they, they're looking to folks for answers, and they're not really finding satisfying ones. Shelley, as you know, all politics are local. Tip O'Neill said that, right? That's true. Let's be very specific about New York City, Manhattan, the home of Wall Street. Uh, if, in fact, there were a Republican in Albany, what would the relationship be with our Democratic mayor here? Because that relationship is terribly important to Manhattan. I think that's true. Uh, Eric Adams, though, is not your typical Democrat. Um, you know, he's certainly uh, approached policing in a very different way, looking at things like uh, the, you know, kind of the broken windows theory that we had with Rudy Giuliani. So it is a very different kind of Democrat that is Eric Adams and someone who has talked a lot about crime. The issue is neither Eric Adams or Lee Zeldin or any of the Republicans have really put forth a, um, a you know, comprehensive yeah. crime issue.